I'm Nick with Obsessed Garage and welcome to OG Academy, a series of short videos that will be going into the technical details of some of our products and detailing as a whole. Today we will specifically be looking at foam cannons, going over some of the basics, general use tips, and how they work. Laid out before me I have the PF22 foam cannon, what we believe to be the best foam cannon on the market and it is currently available in our store. So what is a foam cannon? A foam cannon is a tool we use in detailing to spray a thick and even layer of foam across a car. This goes two ways, both to ensure we cover the entire car in soap and also they're a lot of fun to use. A foam cannon works by spraying pressurized water, mixing it with a soap solution and spraying it through a mesh screen otherwise known as the agitator to create a thick layer of foam. Soap and the correct dilution ratio are integral to getting a good foam. We recommend 150 milliliters of your favorite car shampoo to every 850 milliliters of water in your foam cannon. Please note that certain soaps will foam much better than others. In the inlet of the foam cannon, there is a small plate with a hole in it. This is what we reference to as the orifice. This is what creates pressure in both your pressure washer and your foam cannon. That pressurized water will enter the housing of the foam cannon and pull soap through the bottle using the pickup tube. Once this soap solution mixes in the housing of the foam cannon, we can adjust how much we want to go through with the valve on top. This soap solution that just mixed in the housing of the foam cannon is then sprayed through the micro mesh or agitator to create micro bubbles or what we know as foam that is then forced out through the nozzle. We can adjust the spray fan of the nozzle by turning the tip. Your orifice is what creates pressure from the pressure washer. By bottlenecking or restricting the flow from the pump, that's what creates the 1000 plus psi pressure. The smaller the orifice, the more pressure you're going to get from your pressure washer. But when we restrict the orifice, we restrict flow as well. That being said, if you go with an orifice size that is too small, we run the risk of damaging the pressure washer itself. So it is important to make sure we get that orifice size right. To change your orifice, simply remove the 3 8 inch plug, then use a flathead to remove the orifice plate and replace it with a new one. You can find what orifice you need by either visiting our pressure washer spreadsheet or emailing us directly at support at obsessgarage.com. It's always a good idea to flush out or wrench your foam cannon after every use. To do this, all we need to do is remove the housing from the bottle, place the pickup tube into your rinse bucket or an open body of water, and then spray until there's no foam coming out. This ensures that the agitator is clean after every use, as this can get clogged. Why am I not getting thick foam? This could be a result of many things, but the number one issue is you're not using enough soap. So check your dilution ratio, make sure you're using enough soap in the bottle itself compared to water, and that should fix your problem. If you're still having issues, it might be worth it to take it apart and check the agitator itself. These can get clogged with soap contaminants, particulates, and any number of other things, but those will be your two main causes. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I afforded you some insight into how a foam cannon works, why it might benefit you, and alleviated any troubleshooting issue. I'll let you know you can find anything that's laid out in front of me at obsessgarage.com and if you have any questions specifically, feel free to reach out to us either in the comments or at support at obsessgarage.com.